This is like something from a James Bond movie, a secret tunnel underneath a secret city. There have been rumors for decades about mysterious activity in a man-made cave hundreds of feet beneath Los Alamos. Well, the rumors are true. There is a tunnel. Tonight, News 13's Katie Kim is on special assignment inside the secret site that no outsiders have ever seen. It's been whispered about for more than 60 years. They would keep gold in there. And that's all I, I remember people saying. Something secret lies deep in the Los Alamos Canyon. I've heard about it, yes, but I don't heard know about it. I just that it exists. There was a, a rumor that there was a, a train in here because when you were up on top, you could hear sort of uh, strange noises. From a passageway for a secret underground train to a mine full of precious metals, the stories of what was buried in the canyon were endless. And unless you worked at the National Lab, it's remained one of the best kept secrets in New Mexico since the 1940s. No one's been in this vault. The public has not been in this vault. There's been um, no media ever in this vault. Until now. Our cameras were given the very first look inside the carved out canyon rock. We are going in about 230 feet. Some call it the invisible tunnel. Very few people knew it actually existed, even though it sits in the heart of the city. Today, a popular city landmark marks the spot. We're pretty much underneath the McDonald's parking lot. Right in the center of Los Alamos, hundreds of feet below ground. The tunnel was built just as the Cold War began. The year was 1948. Well, the atomic bomb is very dangerous. Since it may be used against us, we must get ready for it. A history lesson today, but in the late 40s and 50s at the height of the Cold War, the threat of a nuclear strike was very much a reality. The entire town of Los Alamos was off limits back then. Visitors needed a government pass to enter and exit. And a lot of the 1950s buildings here in Los Alamos were designed with fallout shelters. The tunnel was built to serve as a safe haven in case of nuclear war. But in the meantime, lab scientists worked down here in secrecy, studying and developing new weapons like the hydrogen bomb. And this underground tunnel was the first place in the country to store the parts for those weapons. In the early, earliest years of the Cold War, they didn't have a facility for that. So this vault was built specifically for those pits. Los Alamos Canyon provided the perfect hiding place. Because of the of the, um, the cliffs that we have here, the volcanic tuff and, and, and the setup with the canyon walls. Plutonium pits and other weapons parts were flown into Albuquerque's Kirtland Air Force Base, then transported to Los Alamos and driven straight into the tunnel. It's a vault within a vault. The materials were stored in these five vaulted rooms. The federal government only recently declassified the tunnel because some of the old weapons parts remained in the vault as recently as last fall. Lab experts used them as teaching tools in the post-Cold War era. But Lanel historian Ellen McGee says the weapons parts kept here were so secret, they are still considered classified information today. No one could come down the canyon, so this was a top secret and very heavily guarded facility. The guards and weapons are now gone, and all that remains is an empty shell. But historians say the tunnel vault is still valuable for future generations. This facility is really symbolic of this early Cold War secrecy and security. That, to me, tells a story. On special assignment, Katie Kim, KRQE News 13. The feds have declassified the tunnel in order to cut the cost of maintaining the once heavily guarded facility. Historians hope to get it listed on the National Register of Historic Places, but there are no current plans to open it for public tours. It'd be cool to go down yeah, there and no see kidding. that place. Very cool.